So continuing on with the teardown of the Faxatron DX50 cabinet x-ray unit, this is the x-ray sensor board which has been pulled from the unit. This unit was damaged in shipping. It had a broken x-ray tube and a bad power supply. So it was um, mostly dead. Not to be confused with all dead because mostly dead is still slightly alive. And the alive part is this x-ray detector unit. So this has been removed from the Faxtron cabinet x-ray system along with its power supply board. The power supply board takes in, five uh, takes in five volts, isolates the detector unit from the input power supply with two DC to DC converters. These put out slightly more than five volts, which is then regulated down with two linear regulators to cut off any of the switching ripple from the converters. And then the two separate five volt supplies, these are both positive five volts, go out to the detector panel, which has separate 5 volt buses for both the analog and digital uh, electronics. Uh, it's controlled over a USB interface. So that's plugged into the computer now. One thing that you might notice is if you plug one of these in, it will not recognize it right away. It does require the it does require power on both 5 volt buses to be detected. So this, this is not USB powered. USB is just the uh, interface. So the power supply is now on, and if you look in Device Manager, you'll see it show up as Hamamatsu C9730 DK11, and that has been installed with the Hamamatsu DCAM API version uh, 15.10.4787. It will not, and this is running on with the USB 2.0 port on a laptop with Windows 10 64-bit uh, Enterprise on it. You can't use the newer Hamamatsu DCAM app API version 18. It's not backwards compatible with the flat panel detectors. And you can't use the earlier uh, version 13. That's only good with Windows XP, though if you use it with Windows XP, it should work. So along with the DCAM app API, there is, Hamamatsu does include the uh, XCAP utility, which is to test all of their camera systems. And that does work with the flat panel detectors. In this case, the exposure time can be from 0.25 seconds to two seconds. So I'll set that to two seconds and hit uh, snap. And that'll just integrate two seconds of dark field noise. It's basically just a black image, but if you adjust the lookup tables, uh, this is from the range from 0 to 65, 535. If you adjust this downward to see about, just say 1000, you can see the uh, dark field noise. And this is just the CCD detector. Uh, integrating dark current. You can see there's slight variation in dark current between several segments of the CCD, and you can also see that there are a number of white spots. And these would be dead pixels. That's pretty normal on large scientific CCD sensors. Um, 100 to 200 dead pixels uh, per detector is not uncommon. You can just uh, take those out with a median filter. Um, so those are the dead pixels there, gain variation. So you can run this with the XCAP utility. You can also you use MATLAB with the image acquisition toolbox. You'll also need to download the Hamamatsu uh, camera drivers if you want to use it with MATLAB, but that is also an option. So this sensor has been tested with x-rays on a different setup. Uh, it has been confirmed to be working, so this is a worthwhile component to salvage from the otherwise mostly dead uh, x-ray cabinet system.